A nationwide survey claimed that less than 40% of parents with young children condone spanking their child as a regular form of punishment. In a random sample of 200 parents with young children, 74 condone spanking their child as a regular form of punishment. Use classical approach to test the above claim in a nationwide survey at a significance level of alpha is equal to 0.5. So in this hypothesis testing question, uh, we have to use classical approach. So first we have to extract the information. So claim in the survey is like say 40 less than 40 percent. So this is our p0. So let me write it here. So p0 is 0 0.0. 0. Then we have this is n. So 200. And we have x 74. Yeah. And the significance level alpha is this one. So from here we can also write p hat, a proportion from this uh, this uh, sample that is 74 out of 200. That is 37. So before we perform our this testing, first we have to check those three conditions which are required. So first condition is that the sample is a random sample. And it's given here that the sample is random sample. So this is true. So second condition is like n times v0 times 1 minus v0. So this should be greater or equal to n. So we can check that. So n is 200, and uh, p ha p0 is 0. 0.0, and this would simplify into 48, which is definitely greater than 10. So the second condition is also true. Third condition is the independence of this uh, values of this random sample. And for that, the condition is that the n should be less than or equal to 5% of the population size, so 0 0.5 times n. And in, uh, for example, like uh, the kids, uh, the parents with uh, young children, so they are in millions, so definitely 200 is less than 5% of the millions of those parents, so this condition is also true. And next we go with uh, our like uh, uh, steps for the, uh, this hypothesis testing. The first step is that uh, we have to define this the null and alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis is denoted by H0. So that always comes with equal to P0, so which is 0 0.40. And then alternative hypothesis H1, so that would be P. And it could be less than, greater than, or uh, not equal to. And in our problem, it says that it's uh, less than the claim. So this is less than 0 0.40. So this is our alternative hypothesis. Uh, step two is that find alpha. Alpha is given. So alpha is 0 0.05 here, right? So that. And then step three is uh, compute uh, test statistic. That is C Z sub zero. And that was with the equation that P hat minus P zero by square root of uh, P zero one minus P zero by N. Plug in these values, so zero point Seven minus zero point four zero divided by inside the square root zero point four zero divided by n n is uh, two hundred here, right? So and this would be approximately become equal to negative zero point eight seven. 
next uh, we find this uh, critical region so for using this alpha value here right so and because our test is uh, with the less than so this is left tail right so that's because of this uh, this sign here right so this less so our uh, that critical region would be like uh, say so left tail so here would be somewhere over this the uh, alpha value so negative this uh, alpha and alpha is 5.05 so it means that this area over here so that would be five so, so for this area 0 0.05 so we have to compute this negative z alpha value and this we can use either calculator like or we can use normal uh, standard normal distribution table so let me bring this value from the table so this is table here so we have to look for point zero five and from this these values we are looking for that point zero five so if you see here so point zero five you don't see exactly but you see that point zero five would be somewhere here right so this is uh, a little bit higher and then this value is a little bit lower so 0 0.05 would be in between so we would check the value for this one 0 0.0505 0 .05, what is z value that is one negative 1.6 and then next digit would be 0 0.3 so negative 1.64 and for this it would be negative 1.65 and our exact value was in the middle of that so we would take the average of the both z values so negative 1.645 and negative 1.65 so that would be our z value so let me show you how we get that so our this z negative z alpha value would be the average of negative 1.64 and then the negative 1.65 right so average of these together and divide by 2 so that would be negative 1.645 this is this value negative 1.645 right so that is negative z alpha value so next is our step four now step four so we have to check that this z sub zero value is this less than negative z alpha or not right so this so z zero value we computed here was this one so negative 0.87 right so, so negative 0.87 and z alpha negative z alpha value is uh, negative 1.65 so definitely this value is greater than this one so it means that uh, this is not true right so z so z sub 0 is not less than this one so it means that if it's less than then we reject null hypothesis so now we do not reject null hypothesis so so when we don't reject null hypothesis so we would say that there is is not enough evidence to support H1 and H1 was the claim in the uh, in the survey so so in other words we would say that 
there is not enough evidence to support the claim in the survey. So, 